Hey there guys and welcome back to another FPV Guy video. I'm Bo Lorenzen and as you know I am walking around CES 2018 and right now I'm at the hotel booth here with, together with Tim Matthews and Tim to be perfectly honest I was getting a little worried. Yeah. You guys are back? Yes we are. And last year we were very excited about a whole bunch of ideas that was coming out course, yeah. but they didn't materialize. It did not. No. What, what happened? So basically we're all about customer service. You can see that all over the internet and if something just is not good enough for you guys, it's not good enough for us, we're not going to put a product out there that we don't believe in. Uh, so basically that all rolled into not releasing some products and waiting and spending the time to make a quality product instead. Brilliant. So you guys are back and I'm going to reach over here and grab one of these units. And we're, getting, we're moving into a new size category for drones. And everybody is saying, well, that's that's a Mavic clone. But it's really not. No, it's because really drones not. started out being a lot bigger and they're all a bit smaller. Right, like all drones are portable, but really, to make them smaller and still have feature pack, there's only a couple ways you can do that. You know, like all cars have wheels, right? So it's not air conditioning, hopefully. Exactly, right? So this one right here, we managed to make it a lot more portable so that you're more willing to take it because the best camera you have is the one that you have with you. Right? iPhone. Exactly. So if you can't take it with you, then you're never going to use it. But it doesn't mean that you have to compromise on features. And, and you guys have been traditionally a very high image quality company. Exactly. Where are we at on this one here? So this one right here, the image quality that you came to expect on the uh, XR Premium, same quality, better really? sensors. Yes. Yeah, so that's actually using the upgraded sensors, so we're now at 60 frames a second here at 4K. And do we still have the same wide dynamic range? Yes. We're looking at that. Um, we still have to do our own kind of test because we just got these from the engineer. Uh, but yeah, we're we're very, very happy. I know they spent a very long time tuning the color profile. So right out of the box, you're going to be happy. I mean, that, that was really when I flew the first XR, that was what blew my mind was the quality of the image. Yep, and that's what we're all about. We're all about durability, quality, customer service, you know, instead of just a wide range of things. We want to be important stuff to care. And this is really the product size because I gotta be honest, I have a Phantom 4 Pro and I also have a Mavic. And yep. the Mavic goes with me everywhere. Right. I just don't want to carry that big case. Exactly, but even on like the Mavic where you're missing some of those features where you might have wanted them before, now you've got something that still has Optical avoidance, computer vision, right? object tracking, all in a very small package with a nice camera. I'm, I'm very excited about the camera quality. Yes. I'm looking forward to testing exactly. that. So, while we're doing the B roll and getting some insert pictures for you, I see this little thing flashing on the phone camera. You can't actually see it, but it's sending out infrared light. So, this is a backwards facing obstacle avoidance to a so that when you're doing a selfie, this is going to keep you from running into that house or the tree in front of you or behind this. You also got forward facing optical avoidance. Yeah, so not just optical avoidance, it's actually computer vision. So right there, those are two front facing cameras that are building a world around the drone and then it's making smart choices on where it needs to go, especially when you're using a dynamic track. So, this is, so as you turn it around, it still knows what was over here? Yes, exactly. So if you were to, let's say, fly towards the tree while you're following yourself on a mountain bike. It's going to go towards the tree and then know it has to go around and which direction to go because it's more clear either left or right or over. So, so it's creating a full-on model exactly. and making decisions based on yes. that. Yeah, so it's not just IR. So, so this is getting a lot smarter. The back the backside knows IR. Yeah, so then underneath as well, we also have a computer vision so then when it's landing, you can turn it on so that uh, if your landing area is not clear, it will also stay on the ground and then make a correct choice on where they land. So what you have, there's two ultrasounds here and there's two cameras there and there. That's the down looking cameras. These things are getting advanced. It's pretty crazy. The first drones I flew was like, Two by four sticks yeah, with the motors on. Exactly, right? Wow. So what is the flight time of this? Up to 30 minutes. So up to 30 minutes? Yep. I'm going to call that 25 well, until I see otherwise. So right now, even pushing it into flight cage, we're getting over 26. And that's high speed maneuvers up and down, recording, active track, or dynamic track, everything. Uh, so we're it's definitely getting up there. Safe to say 25 for sure when you're flying this thing. 
what is the range? Uh, out to seven kilometers or four point three miles. When does seven kilometers is like the new standard? That's the new standard. Yep. How does that work? How is that possible? So we're going in between nine hundred megahertz and two point four. So we'll find whichever band has the least amount of interference on there, and then scan through those and find the right channel. That basically means when you get out past a couple of kilometers, you're switching to nine hundred. Because, because two point four does not go that far. Right. So it just chooses whatever is going to be best for you. Brilliant. Now, talk to me about the controller. Yes. Can you bring this up so we yeah, can see definitely. it. So the controller, higher, higher. we have one kind of bound in there right now. So the controller, all new controller, all new app called the Autel Explorer app. Uh, we get the map out of the way here. But everything, just like on the Starlink app, is very, uh, very right there in your face. You know where it is, and it's intuitive. Um, the screen itself on the controller is actually a 3.3 OLED screen with a built-in uh, video feed as well. So, so, so you're you're capable of flying this and see video without your phone. Exactly. Yep. I hold down the back button here. We're going to switch over. It's video. So there's the video there, and you can see the latency hasn't been affected between the two as well. So, so that basically means I can go out and fly and not have to use my phone exactly. at all. Exactly. Or if your phone breaks, you drop it on some rocks, it runs out of battery power, you can still fly and you can still adjust that, camera settings as well. I think that's a huge feature for me. Definitely. It's just all about making it even more compact. Yeah, it, it's all there. Yep. One big thing is this is going to be how much? Uh, we're looking at sub $1,000. So nine hundred ninety nine, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always cautious when I hear sub something. Of course. But all right, when can we expect to see these? As soon as they're ready. So we're making a couple of last weeks on there, uh, just to final it up, and make it a little bit better, more worth your money, and then uh, and then we'll be going into production. Now the other thing, you guys are famous for your customer service. Mm -hmm. I, my first review of an Outsell product, we dialed in during the review and we actually got a human being on the... Oh, nice. Good. They picked up with us right. in 30 seconds. Is that still real? Yes, it is. So uh, our CS team has actually expanded over the past couple of months, so we're already ready to take on another product. Um, but yeah, seven days a week, we're there every day, ready to, even on the weekends, through the holidays, everything. Really so that's, that's an issue right there, guys, because it means you buy a product, you can pick up the phone, and there's somebody in Seattle, isn't it? And we're, at, we're based out of Seattle. So. Yeah, so there's somebody in Seattle, not in China, that's going to pick up the phone and help you with that new drone. And we actually care about drones. When you talk to us too is that we know about drones, we go out, we fly them on the weekends, things like that. So there you have it. We're gonna, what, what is this product called? Uh, it's the Evo. The Evo. <laughs> I don't think we even said that yet. Yeah, I know. That's All right. So, the, Auto, that, uh, Auto Robotics Evo. So there you have it, guys. That's the Autel Evo, just south of a thousand dollars. It's incredibly portable. Here's one of them wrapped up. It's actually the one that is bound to our controller. The other thing, it comes in one of these standard styrofoam cases. And you can kind of see my hand size here. So the ready-to-go kit is incredibly compact, which means we can take this anywhere this is a protective case you know me I'm gonna put this on top of my backpack in the top pocket and it will fit in the top pocket of my backpack so $9.99 probably ish sometimes this summer start saving your money and also click up in the top corner of this frame to subscribe because we've got a lot more 2018, I was going to say 2016, 2018 CES videos coming. So Tim, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much, Phil.